Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu meinem Hauptprojekt Eternal Sonata. Das Spiel ist 2007 von Namco Bandai erschienen oder entwickelt worden und ist halt 2007 erschienen. Und ich würde sagen, wir beginnen gleich ein neues Spiel. Ja, zu Beginn kommt ein etwas längeres Intro, von daher werde ich jetzt erstmal mich wieder auf Stumm schalten. I must do this. And it's for the person who means the most to me. My life is nothing compared to his. Doing this is easy if it's for him. Thank you, everyone. I know it didn't last very long. But really, this was the best time I've ever had in my life. If I blow him a kiss, I wonder, will it reach him up there? No. The rippling surface of flowing water transforms the soft light of the morning sun. The beams combine becoming a spotlight that paints the stage. The flowers awaiting the curtain's rise display faces of bright red and brilliant yellow. They turn their ears to listen to the performance that is about to begin. Accompanied by the gentle rhythm of a babbling brook, the birds begin to sing. Meanwhile, a mischievous sea breeze causes a rustling amidst the leaves of the trees, disrupting the concert. It is a familiar scene, one that has unfolded every morning since the beginning of time. And even now, the daily overture continues, its delicate, perfect balance never faltering, never changing. In the midst of this joyous orchestration, at the center of the morning's discordant musical performance, lies a small village nestled deep in the wood. The name of the village is Tenudo. It sits atop a hill which overlooks the coastline. In fact, the town is only about four miles from the sea. Tenuto is very lucky in this regard, for the town enjoys a wonderful cool breeze and a view that is nothing short of amazing. And then there are the flowers. They seem to blossom almost everywhere in the town. They paint the landscape with color as far as the eye can see. And they are the reason Tenudo is also known by another name, the Village of Flowers. There is a harbor town at the foot of a hill that can be seen from Tenudo. When night falls, the lights from the town shine like diamonds and open the hearts of those who gaze upon their illustrious splendor.
Under normal circumstances, one might expect to find a bustling shopping district for tourists in a village as beautiful as this one. However, no such shops are to be found, not here. In fact, the village is quite calm, almost strangely quiet. It is a place that exudes a peaceful tranquility, a tranquility that further increases its allure, as well as its mystery. because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just can't sit still. Is that true? Really? Really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! What about the paddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean, before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves too? The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about people as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts, just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, and power. People who are drawn to these things create waves and the fear in their hearts makes the waves grow bigger and stronger. The more people there are, the bigger the waves can become. And as the number of people grows, the waves grow bigger and bigger. And that can lead to terrible conflicts. This is probably too hard for you to understand. I guess. But if something like that ever were to happen during your life, your only choice might be to jump into that sea. Because when you do, those big waves will calm down. It may be difficult at times, but if you try your best, you'll bring joy to the person who means the most to you. Really? Yes, though it's insulting to compare seawater stirred by the beauty of the moon to the ugly waves of human desire. <sighs> He seems to have calmed down, hasn't he, Doctor? He doesn't look like he's in pain the way he did before. It seems as though he must be having a pleasant dream. Yes. Well, that would be nice.
It would be even better if that means he's headed towards recovery, a full recovery. It's said that people can have the most peaceful dreams just before they pass on. What are you talking about? How can you say that? I apologize. Hopefully, it's just an old wives' tale. Frederick. Mom's probably worried about me. I'd better get home before it gets dark. <laughs> 